How is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today we're going to be checking out what is possibly Far Harbor's biggest secret loot room or loot shed that you could possibly find and we're going to be doing this live it's actually a live commentary i'm actually going to edit it a little bit as well uh, so it's not really too too long but i thought i'd jump in game you know do it live here today i don't really do this too often and i thought i'd change things up just a little bit on the channel uh, for this video so this begins with cranberry island you want to make your way over to the cranberry island docks where i am right now on the map uh, just to give you guys a bit of a reference there's vim pop factory then over here we do have far harbor and uh, that is pretty much where we are situated right now. Once you're at the docks, what you want to do is you want to make your way into this building here. I'll try and give you guys a bit of a general reference while looking around. Give you guys a bit of an idea of where we are. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make your way up these stairs here. And uh, I think on the shelf, here we go. You should find Eliza's map of home. So if we take a read of this now, as you can see, basically this girl named Eliza has drawn a map. And you can see those little power icons there. They essentially equal to the power locations that you need to go to. So um, we're going to go ahead and take that. No, actually. And we're going to go ahead and find these power generators. We actually need to power three of them on. And that will allow us to access an underneath bunker. And then once you got into the bunker, you'll then get a key to a secret loot room, which is actually pretty damn awesome. So to begin with, the best way I can sort of explain this to you guys is to just follow these power lines. So we're just going to start from here and sort of head down the road here while following these exact power lines and they should lead to the first one and then we'll move on to the second and third one straight afterwards and uh, go from there so you can see the first power line keeps going and then it sort of splits off into this building here and then keeps going down the road so the first one is actually behind this building so if you go through the building and at the back you guys should notice now there should be a generator here i do believe or is this just where the loot room is? Oh, this is just where the bunker room is. So my apologies there. This is where the bunker is. This is what you need to power up. You can see the door is sealed. And I've got some gulpers behind me, I believe. All ready to go. I heard one. I heard one somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is where the bunker door is. This is what you need to power up. And uh, of course, there's the generator. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> so here's the first generator. It's just underneath the sort of, you know, the pathway going along here. Just to show you guys again here. Just down this way pretty much just down from the house there and then you'll need to go ahead and actually repair this so i think if you go ahead and flip it the breaker is not functional you need to go over to the panel and actually repair it so there's a couple of different ways you can repair this this is repair with wires which requires six copper rewire it five intelligence and just kick it i'm not going to kick it because i don't think that will work it may do but i'm not going to risk it uh, i'm just going to go ahead and rewire it here and once it's rewired you can then go ahead and activate the circuit breaker and get the first generator up and running so there's actually a note here as well eliza's journal and this actually reads grandpa pat was yelling in his sleep tonight he's done it before but this time it was so loud it woke me up i saw mom head over there to make sure he's okay glad she remembered her coat it looks like it's freezing out there i heard her talking to dad the other day about grandpa moving in with a suit i don't think i want him to so i'm presuming there's quite a few journals around this uh, cranberry island as well that relate to Eliza. We're probably going to find all of those. Once again, this is just sort of for the loot room. But uh, if we continue on here and keep following this power line, it should now lead us to the second generator location. As you can see, coming up on the second power generator now, go up here first, and uh, we need to repair this one as well. Again, it's just a matter of like following the power lines. There's actually a GoPro over there. Let's take out real quick. My aim is actually pretty bad right now. Is there any more? Oh, there's a Yagwai as well. Get rid of him while we can. And down goes the Yagwai. So uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the map location for this one. This one is right here on the map, as you guys can see. I probably should have brought up the map location for the other one, which I may go back and do actually while editing. I don't know yet. Um, but basically, once you're here, again, we need to repair it. I think we repair it from this side. Break. Bend the pipe back into place. Jesus Christ. You can bang on it. Repair the pipe. And uh, we're going to try and bang on it, see what happens. Nothing happens, all right. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's random. It may work, you know, randomly. But what we're going to do now is we're going to repair it. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and flip on the generator again. So that, my friends, is generator number two. Now, the third generator, which I guess you could probably count as the first one, because I kind of am back at the very start now. Uh, so we're back at the start where we first picked up the note. Again, I'll bring up the map location to exactly where we are. But uh, generator three, well, three for me, maybe one for you, 
is in the opposite direction of the power line. So last time we went down that road there, got the two generators down there, and this time we're going back. And uh, the third one for me is going to be all the way down here. And you can already see it right there to my right. So we just need to jump up there. There's another wolf we need to take out here real quick. Get rid of him before we continue. And oh, there's one behind me as well. Crack down wolves. All right, so we've taken him out. And again, we just need to simply repair it. We'll go ahead and jam something metal into it. And nothing happens again. So I'm presuming every single time, nothing is going to probably happen. But there we go. We repaired it. And we're now going to flick on the third generator after we take out this wolf. All right. Now that the third generator is actually active, we can head back down to that bunker room. And again, I'll go ahead and show you guys the map location for that in a sec. Um, but basically, the bunker door should now be open. And inside of that bunker, we should now have a key. So we've just made it over to the bunker room here. And uh, if we go ahead and open it, it should now open. Oh, there's a bunch of ghouls in here as well. Oh, they've got names as well. I didn't even realize that. Let's go ahead and shoot them real quick. I've actually done this before. And uh, the first time, I didn't actually realize these guys had names. So... Go ahead and take out all these guys real quick. My aiming again is very, very bad right now. But uh, once we take these guys out, we should see what's in here. There's a couple of radiation suits as well, you guys can see there. Longfellow's already down with his freaking fishing hook. I should, probably shouldn't have given him that. We'll take him out real quick. Boom. I don't think any of these goals... Oh, he has a mighty harpoon gun on him. Damn. I mean, I don't know if you're going to get something different. I presume you may, because I guess it counts as a legendary. I don't think... He is, you know, you know, a default guy who's going to have a default weapon on him. But uh, the Mighty Harpoon Gun, I might as well take that. 25% more damage. Not bad, not bad. There is a better one you kind of get called Admiral's uh, Friend, I believe. And uh, the key. In fact, hold on. If we go to Eliza's family drawing here real quick. Um, that's just a picture of someone with a crossed face out. Not too sure what's going on with that. But there we go. Cranberry Island Shed Key. We also have the Supplies Note as well, which we'll take a read of. And uh, just a few general materials. Nothing too, too special inside of here. And uh, the most of it is going to actually be in the main loot room. So if we take a look at that note here real quick. If we go over to my misc section here, we should have the supplies note. There we go. I'm going to take a read of that. It states, remember to move all of the supplies from the shed on the east dock to the storage room here in the bunker. Aside from the generators being in full working order, those supplies are our most important asset and don't make your brother do it. This is your job. So, there's actually more to uh, go ahead and view here. P.S. The key is in the footlocker near the bunker entrance. So, we've already got the key there. We picked up the note. And uh, basically, someone was tasked to move all of the loot from the loot shed into that bunker. And, uh, of course, for whatever reason, they didn't end up getting around to doing that. Maybe they died. I don't know. Again, we're not going to be looking for the journals because I'm pretty sure the journals will give us a little bit more of a story into this. Um, this is just mainly for the loot room and maybe in another video I might do like a story based video uh, around this who knows but basically the loot shed is over here we have a bunch of my we need to take out real quick as well uh, you can see it's pretty much exactly here on the map just to give you guys once again a general idea so we just took out those my and if we go back up to the door here we can actually unlock it and uh, in here my friends is the loot room look at this if you do not have materials on you this is your haven. This is the place you're going to want to go to. We have cement. We have acid. We've got ballistic fiber, gears, cloth, alu uh, aluminium or aluminum, depending on where you're from. Just everything. Every material that you would want is in this room. And it's a lot. It looks freaking awesome. And uh, we also have a steamer trunk in here as well with a bunch of stuff in it. I guess general steamer trunk stuff is what you'll find in here. Uh, this will be different for you, I do believe. And uh, this is the loot room, guys. Again, this is mainly for materials. If you need a lot of materials, there's pretty much everything you would want in here. A lot of it as well, or a decent amount of it. And we also have the steamer trunk there as well. And not only that, just an awesome concept of a loot room. The way you had to unlock this, you know, sort of figure out what's going on, the whole map side of things. I just thought it was awesome and definitely something worth sharing with you guys today. As always, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. I am over encumbered, which means I need to drop some stuff, which I'll do off stream actually and sort out my whole inventory then. But uh, yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new around. Again, I should have a top 10 rare weapon guide coming out for you guys tomorrow. Plus, I'm going to do a guide or a tutorial on Dima's memories. A lot of people are struggling with the whole VR puzzle that you have to go through. So I think I'm going to do a bit of a guide on the last part of that. Uh, check back for that tomorrow as well or maybe later today who knows but anyway hope you enjoyed and until next time peace out